Now in home design, our resident designer Hamish Dodd is here with some outdoor DIY projects that you can accomplish over the holiday period if you so choose, or in time before your in-laws visit for Christmas. Morning Hamish. Good morning guys, how are you? We're good. good. There's a few things on this checklist that I actually need to do, so right. I need some heads up. Um, let's start with maintenance and cleaning. Top tips and products that you need to get the job done. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit quickly about inside as well, because people do go in there and scrub uh, ceilings and walls in the house in preparation for Auntie Martha coming yeah, to stay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've seen this um, done poorly, uh, to say the least. Uh, Resine make a product called um, Resine Interior Paint Cleaner. Yes, there is a cleaning product. Surprise, surprise, try using it. Not spray and wipe on the wall. <laughs> I'm going to write that one down, yeah. is it? Now, there's something else I'd like you to do here. I'd like you to use a lint-free, I repeat, lint-free soft cloth when okay. you clean the walls because too often I go in there and people have attacked it with, I don't know, a toothbrush? Yes. And they've worn through the paint or they've taken the sheen off the paint. Um, if you've got flat paint, such as on the ceilings, and there are fly spots up there, we don't want Auntie Martha seeing those mm. when she's lying in bed. Mm. So you want to get up there and carefully clean, nice and gently and softly with the correct product. Otherwise, you'll actually polish the paint and you'll ruin it, okay? No, I don't want to sound gross, but will that take the fly poo off the roof? Yes, it shall, Mike. Okay, cool. No, because I looked up the other day and there's oh, a few spots. Seriously? Well, there are they, they seem to hang out around the lights. Yeah, I mean, uh, Resine actually do sell an additive you can put in the paint to be right. a bit of a fly repellent. <gasps> but still, people get, you know, you end up with walls where little treasure's hands have yeah. run up them. Oh, mm. People who seem to re forget that um, doors actually have handles on them. <laughs> Personal favourite. Yeah, it's got all these it. finger lines up okay. the doors. Um, what, that, what about yeah? What about the exterior of your house? Game changer, they by the okay, way. Okay, exterior of the house. Okay, right. I've got to read this off here because there is a big list. You want to use Resine Paint Prep and House Wash. So once again, they make a product to help you clean the exterior of your house down. Brilliant. I know, and, and this is really important. So what you can also get is you can also get Resine Deep Clean. So this is a slow release cleaner. So you spray this onto the exterior of the house, and over the time, the weather's going to, um, you know, the rain's going to wash it off for you. Okay. 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 What, what about, about the, the gunk, yeah? Gunk, the, what about the gunk so underneath the? Um, okay, the gunk. Okay, so you've got the, the then you've got the Resine Moss and Mold Killer. So that's going to help you clean all that sort of stuff off, and you can use that in spot areas. So once you've used your deep clean um, or your paint prep and house wash, so depending on how vigorously you want to get stuck into it. If you've left it late like me, you're using the um, the paint prep and house wash first off, and then I'd be using the moss and mold killer to spot clean areas outside. So end of fascia boards, mm. um, but some, they, they tend to um, collect things like moss and mold, and once it gets in, it's going to start popping the paint off, so you can have problems further down the track. Okay, sweet. What about painting the house yourself? Can you do it yourself? It's well, easy, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, I, I put this into a couple of categories. Uh, first one is, are you a good painter and do you have patience? If the answer is no, pay someone to do it for you. I fall into this category. Yeah. If you are someone like my sweet producer Jasmine, yes. she could easily paint the house herself because she takes time to follow the correct instructions Procedures, to do it. Right. So the, the, the washing down of the house, the preparation, if you need it, getting scaffolding in. But at the end of the day, it's only as good as what's yeah. underneath. So if you don't prep it, you're never going to paint it properly yourself. Yep. Should you be one of those nice, calm people who can do these things? By all means, have a go, but be safe. And if in doubt, go to your resine store, have a chat to them there. They'll fill you in on what you do need to do the job right. And if you would like to come and see some windows that have not been prepped yes. properly, pop around to my place <laughs> and you'll see exactly what happens. Uh, what about your outdoor furniture, your deck furniture, your chairs and stuff? Okay, um, so resine do a uh, timber and deck clean product. So what you want to do is you want to get your timber and deck clean product, apply it. Uh, and uh, you want to leave that um, on for about 12 hours um, after you've given it a bit of a scrub, hose it off, and then you can basically restain after that with uh, Resine Woodman stains. Cool. How often do you restain something like outdoor furniture? You, 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 do you know, <laughs> or do you, should you just sort of set it in a pattern? Okay. Again, typically what I would say is if you're going to stain something, so whether it's the exterior of the house or whether it's your outdoor furniture, um, it's going to soak in. So maybe after the first year, you might need to give it another touch-up, okay. and after that, you've got about six years' use out of it. Okay. Depends on the environment, of course. That's really good to know. What are some smaller projects you can do on the holidays that have a real impact in your <laughs> a life? A little bit of impact. Yeah. Okay, should your front door be looking less than handsome, mm -hmm. which is like mine at the moment, it's a little bit weathered and scratched, uh, maybe repaint the front door. It's not a massive project. It's a job you need to do in the summer months when you can leave the door open for the day. Mm -hmm. So remember that. <laughs> Don't paint it and go, oh, Oh, crikey, I'm due down the road yeah, to meet oh, Shirley for lunch. Yeah. Shut the front door and come back and go, uh-oh. Uh -oh. So you want to be able to do it. It's a nice project. You could do maybe a coat a day, and then you can close it up at night. 
Uh, I like that idea. Maybe you could add a splash of colour to a room inside the house. You've got people coming to stay. Boop, there goes the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Um, you know, you could you could paint an extra um, wall in a room or two walls if you're bold, or if I'm really happy, paint all of the walls in the room because the feature wall's kind of dead, and that'll freshen the room up. Give it a bit of zing. Nice. Awesome. Thank you so much, Hamish. And the other thing you can do is just mow your lawns. I walk past so many homes and I'm thinking, yeah. why have you mowed your lawns? Anyway, uh, thank you so much, Hamish. Cheers. Fantastic. And if you need help with these projects and getting the right tools, you can head into your local Resine paint shop and talk to the experience. Yeah.